Here to help us further analyze the ongoing situation at the Temple Mount is Dr. Mordechai Kedar, a lecturer at Bar Ilan University who served for 25 years in IDF military intelligence and is an expert in the Israeli-Palestinian conflict. So, Professor Kedar, will these riots ever die down? Well, it all depends on Israel. Uh, first of all, we have to understand the motivation for these riots. It's not about um, magnometers, it's not about cameras, it's about the fact that Muslims cannot accept the fact that Jews actually are the masters of Jerusalem. And this is what brought the whole thing, because when Israel demonstrates that Israel is the sovereign power on the Temple Mount, here is where they are aggravated because, in, according to their view, Islam came to the world to negate Judaism, to cancel Judaism, to turn Judaism, Judaism into null and void. No. And according to their view, uh, Islam is the only, the only religion in the world, according to the Quran, and here Jews are coming back to life. After Islam now, came now to here's the, world, the question. You know, Jesus. after the decision to remove these security barriers, the metal detectors, the surveillance cameras, everything, what do you think Israel's position will be in future negotiations with the PA? Because, I mean. No, no, then now they will raise their demands. Just like Jordan, which raises demands. Whenever Israel retrieves from anything, anything the demands become more and more and more because they feel that they are empowered now. Now they can do whatever they like. Now can they demand whatever they like and to get whatever they like. Well, 77% of the Israeli public polled in a Channel 2 news poll said they think Netanyahu surrendered on the Temple Mount issue. And you, you believe that? Of course he surrendered. He decided to install some things and then he was forced to take them out because it was not thought about. You cannot come from one, one day to another to show that all of a sudden you decided to take the, the whole place over and to force uh, security measures as if you are in an airport. We have to wrap this interview up, but I'm assuming that you're saying that these detectors probably shouldn't have been implemented in the first place. After, no? after a, a, a discussion of the whole thing with experts who understand about mm -hmm. Islam. Okay. Look, the, the whole defeat is not only the government, it's also the liberal thinking that everybody wants peace and everybody wants uh, to live uh, peacefully with each other. This is how, uh, and religion, plays no role. This is actually what we saw during the last uh, two mm -hmm. weeks, that this assumption is maybe in the West, in Europe, in America, but here in the Middle East, motivation, the biggest motivation for anything is the religion, and unless we recognize it, we do not understand the whole Middle East. All right, well, thank you so much for joining us. Mordechai Kedar. Thank you. All right.